everyone. It looked like we we're alive. So welcome to Frenchie's channel. I'm France Martin, independent demonstrator with Stepping Up here in the U.S. I'm located in Cheyenne, Wyoming, but anyone in the U.S. can shop with me. Today we are doing a fun technique and I am using the dogwood again, the detailed dogwood. I said that all month of, I think I'm going to do that till the end of uh, February. We'll see how it goes, but I'm going to use the celebration product mixed with other product and then do techniques. You know, sometimes I do fun fall and well, now I decide to do technique. And so I think it's going to be fun. So I see quite a bit of joining. So welcome, welcome. It's a lot warmer this week than it was compared to last week, right? Um, I'm looking where is the brochure. Here it is. So when I talk about celebration, it's um, stepping up started that a long time ago. So January, February, sometime it was February, March, sometime it was January to March. This year it's January, started January 4, and it go to February 29. It's the product in this can be yours for free with qualified order. It's no limits, um, so um, you get at the $50 level, you pick 100, you can pick two of the 50 or the one of the 100, you can mix match, okay, it's no right and wrong. Uh, even if it's a February 29, I want to make sure that you all understand that the product is well available also while supplies last, so it's whichever comes first. So, I'm going to flip you down. I'm going to do a recap of what we did so far. And tonight, it's the silk technique. It's an old technique that we used to do with um, glue uh, glue stick. I don't want to have the glue stick anymore. So I said, hmm, I'm going to try it with the Tombow. Well, guess what? It worked wonderful. So we're going to go ahead and I'm going to flip you down. And um, I'm going to bring some old product that I didn't use for a while. I almost feel like I had to dig down and bring them back to life, right? For an example, I'm using the Stays On, Stays On Cleaner. I didn't use that for a long time. Because, you know, with Stays On, you cannot really use blends. Uh, except if you do, I want to bring something about last week, though. Uh, the stained glass we did. Some people say they had a tough time or get difficulty embossing on window sheet. And 99% of them admit that they emboss too long. So if you keep that embossing tool there over and over, it well, if it's paper, it catch on fire. It happened at one of my class more than once. Uh, if Kathy would be here, she would be saying, shh. And then, um, um, also, when, the minute that the, the powder go like, um, it looked like plasticky, move it. Or you can move a bit your uh, um, heat tool. Some people, I heard that they're using something that it's like a heat gun, like for um, hardware, whatever they get that at a hardware store, really, it's to remove um, wallpaper. That's too strong. It melt right away, okay? But, okay, back up the bus here. And what I was saying, you can do it with stays on. You can stamp with stays on. You don't have to emboss. You can have emboss with stays on, okay? So you can stamp with stays on. And you have to color the back. It's very important. While we emboss, I said we can color both sides. But I like to color the back because it's very forgiving. So if you do it with stays on, it's very important that you flip it. And it's easy to tell when you touch your um, your uh, window sheet after you stamp it stays on. It stays sticky for a little bit. So make sure you flip it over, okay? And I'm going to share something else. You guys like that, uh, uh, what it's called, that uh, glass technique, the stained glass. I did stained glass before, and it was, hmm, I'm going to do it again. One minute. Let me flip you. Okay. Now, let me, one minute, let me move here. This is my, 
I need some space, okay? Okay, now we can get jiggy with it. So, okay, last week, it was this lovely card here we did, remember? I'm gonna mail that separately. And this was embossed. So you can do the same thing and you stays on, just make sure you color the back of it. So it's just that the reason why I like the emboss, it's raised up like a, you know, a, a stained glass, you get that raised bar. So, okay, so I did that. We did that last week. Now, the lucky winner, I'm going to already announce it. It is Colleen Lewis. So Colleen, please claim your card at frenchystamps.com. And you're going to go at the top. You see frenchystamps.com there. You're going to go at the top after the class, go on my site, and then go contact me and send me your mailing address. Uh, some of you, I think I got the mailing address, but if you mail and, uh, I mean, change and so on address, like me, I move a lot. <laughs> um, so you need to claim your card, okay? So that was last week. And then I decided to go live. I'm going to try to go live also once a week on um, uh, um, Facebook during celebration. I'm testing that again. So, and I did the dogwood, that's the stamp we're using tonight. I did the same thing. See how pretty that is? So you see, that was this technique. Okay, are you ready? I got something very cool in here. So this is another stained glass technique that I'm holding in my hand, but it was using foil. I did that in the back. The only thing about it, you cannot see like what I do, you know, like the reverse. So this one here to see the reverse side, well, you know, you do it, you cannot use the foil. So you want to see the difference. And it's funny because I color on the, I put the raw, the foil on the wrong way. So it reversed my hummingbird, but look how cool that is. Is that, I mean, I want everybody to go, ooh, uh, come on, show me the love on this. I think it's gorgeous. See the difference? I think, see, it is foil in the back. So I will replay this, uh, not tonight. It's with another stamp set and a paper, uh, the stipple, uh, softly stipple uh, paper. We're going to do back the hummingbird, but I'm going to show with the uh, foil. See how pretty it is? I think it's beyond gorgeous, if you ask me. Look at the difference. So this one here, I would have to put it on a card. It cannot show the back because the back, you don't see nothing. I could always, though, see, uh, reverse it this way. I could glue both of them together i thought about that that would work and then this way so this put back here i think this is the way we're going to try because i never did a double one like this so i think this is maybe what we're going to try i don't know if it's next week or whatever it's going to be during celebration but you see we can the way i flip it we could do it both together I think that is a winner, right? Because it really see the difference between how it bring it really to life. I see all those who are awesome. Okay. Now, so that was that. And a um, couple weeks before that, we did, um, okay, the week before that, that's the, the dogwood again. We're using the dogwood tonight. Um, that was the vellum flower. This one, it's one that I say you have to try it. The thickness of it, it's so pretty, so soft. And I think the dogwood was the perfect one for that. And the, oh, this one, see, this got keep on opening up there. One minute. Maybe I should use Tombow there. I don't know why I keep on. So this, I want this stick there. Oh, I'm glad you're here, Colleen. Awesome, awesome. And that was... A technique plus a fun fold. See? Oops. All the way it's stamped. And it's a floater. Okay. 
Now, tonight, it's the cell technique. Also, I did on Facebook this week. Like I said, I tried to go. I went Saturday and Tuesday. So that's last week, this week, put it that way. I shared the water uh, melon, uh, watercolor melon. So I share uh, tips on that. I That was on uh, Facebook. I download it here on YouTube so you guys can watch it. Anybody that place an order during celebration, you're going to get the download to get um, any size order. It doesn't matter in my thank you email. You're going to get the download to print this out. It's all grading that go with the watermelon. The one that make me laugh, it's the bite me. Because <laughs> of the bite. So anybody, and I share, you know, tips on how to add different color, my favorite color for the watermelon, the green, the reds, and so on. And then here is the one with the bite me. I thought it was funny. So I get four note card that I did, and then I get those four regular size card. Very fresh, right? So, okay, that's another one for celebration. Now, tonight product that it's not listed below this is just regular paper um let me think regular wrapping paper okay so you're gonna need a piece of that it doesn't matter as long it's bigger than uh, i'm gonna say uh, six by uh, six about or six by five whatever so you want it bigger than that doesn't matter if it's crumble or whatever because we're going to really make a number on it one thing though because i'm using with the stays on i'm going to put this under okay now we're going to take our um the dogwood that's the one from a uh, celebration that's this one over here uh, you can tell it's one of my favorite one because this is number three, I think, that I'm doing, right? So we're going to go ahead and we're going to use our stays on. So the stays on, yes, tissue paper. The stays on, if you didn't use it for a while, like me this week, I had to re-ink it. So I want to bring your attention to, I got something in my shoes. Here we go. Um, so inside your stays on, you get this little, um, tray here that really cover the top of your stays on. And that the reason why it have to be snug, it's cause stays on, it's very permanent and it dry fast. Well, it's a little kind of a little, um, button there. I mean, it's raised up. Take a glue dot. Can you see? I put a glue dot. You're going to put a glue dot there. And then, see, when you open it up and close, it stayed there so you don't have to fight with that. So now I'm going to put another glue dot because it's, um, I'm, I really pull it out. And so what I'm going to do, it's take another glue dots here. And then I'm going to put it there. I'm going to, here we go. Let's put it back here. See, because you have to fight every time. I don't want to get my hands dirty. Here we go. That's perfect. See, another way to use your glue dots. I'm telling you, those glue dots are friendly. So now, see, it's very easy to pull it out, and you don't have to fight with that extra cap. Now, when I ink uh, stays on, I use the reinker and go back and forth and wait a little bit till it seep in. That's it. So uh, if you use a dimensional, a dimensional, it's thick, Joanne. So I would may I would check to make sure you don't have the gap with it if you use a dimensional on this. Because you see it would raise up the the thing. And when you close it with the dimensional, I don't know if it's going to close all the way. Maybe it worked. I never try it. Glue dots to me, I mean, it worked wonderful i never had to put another glue dot it's just because i really jerk it out of it tonight so that's the only reason i think so anytime i use stays on the first time and, and a lot of the ink too i always say the first time 
stamp it on the side and then go back and do you see how i put my stays on i put it sideways here so i don't have to pull it back so now i'm ready so i would do that if i have to um if i do quite a, a bit with the stays on i keep it this way sideways so then i can go without opening it up now i'm gonna go ahead and smack that right here Okay, uh, Stazon can be sticky, so I hold my, uh, my uh, tissue paper, see, and pull it out. I don't know if you heard, it's almost like ripping, so that's why you want to hold your paper down. Now, I am done with this here, uh, so I don't like to use my chamois, okay, to wash the Stazon. I don't like to use my chamois. Now, with the stays on cleaner, you have to be very careful not to go on the side because it will damage your uh, two way, the sticky part there. So, what I do, I do on the side, and not the side, but just the top here. And then, oops, I'm going to clean it. Voila, it came clean. Now I'm using my stamping mist. You don't have to use the stamping mist. You can skip, skip that. But if you're in a dry area like Cheyenne, it really recondition your stamp because it's so dry here. So now I bet many of you get this one. So this here, if you look at the bottom or the top, doesn't matter, you get the little umbrella there with the raindrops. So that is the side that you wash, and then you get the sun, the side that you dry. You can use both of them really, but then that way when you work, you know, one side it's wet and the other side was to dry. So that's another little tip for you all tonight. For this here, the top, I would get very dirty, not all the time, but because I go right on my paper, uh, not paper, but my stamp set. I take a BB wipe or a tissue, whatever, and just wipe the top of this and see. So then it clean a lot nicer. Tonight, I think I got lots of tips about stays on because we didn't use it for such a long time. Okay, so now we're gonna go ahead and color i like to color the back of it it don't matter really but i like to color the back i decide to use three colors and the three colors that i'm using it's in the subtle and the reason why i stay with the subtle it's because you cannot buy one one minute i'm gonna sneeze oh it's coming Oh my goodness. Whew. Okay, I think it went away. I look at the light and it worked. And so uh, the reason why I went with uh, three color of the same family, it's because that I know that you cannot buy one by one. And if I would have take one, because I wanted all olive, I wanted um, oh, the bubble. It's not in the, sorry, this is not in the, the subtle, this is in the, the regals. Is it regals? Where, where did I use it from? Another regals. It is in the brights. It is in the brights tonight. So I wanted to use all olive. That was in the regal. Then I wanted to use bubble bat. That was in the subtle. And then I wanted to use daffodil. So I was using three family to do one card well if you are new to this that would make uh, your card to go to five hundred dollars so i'm all about that you can afford it so i use in one family so this is flirty flamingo granny apple green and daffodil all in the bright colors now if you look on page 125 there's the marker you can, oh this is the full i'm sorry this is the full set now for the marker itself yeah it's still on page 125 at the top here you can buy each family individual 
you don't have to buy the whole all of the the 40 colors you can buy it by family so then i think that's a lot more economical to use from all the same family no um yes paper pumpkin is just sometimes it's not white a lot of time it's blue or green or so on but if it's white uh pad absolutely you can use that now i like to use start with the yellow just because it's the center of my flower and i'm gonna call color this you can color the front absolutely i don't know why i like to color the back now i'm gonna go ahead and oops and you're going to say, well, why didn't you not use the blends? Well, I tried to use the stamping blends on this. I surely didn't like it because blend, um, you know, ooze out, spread out. So, and then last week when I did this card, people, I got a few requests if they can use the regular marker. I said, no, because the regular marker will not absorb, will not stay on um uh, on window sheet. So now here it is. It's a technique for the one that don't have blends, but get the markers. Now here you get a little uh, pod, whatever, uh, bud, not a pod, a bud. So I'm coloring all that and I'm trying to go darker on that one. Now for the, cause I love a lighter pink for this. So I don't color entire the, the whole thing. I'm keeping quite a bit of white, okay? I just wanna do the lines. And it's a little bit like what we did uh, two weeks ago, I think with um, the, what you may call it, let me think, uh, what was the technique? Oh, the vellum, the vellum flowers. It's a little bit like that. Now, uh, you're going to say, well, why did you use um, stays on? Because stays on, um, it's more sticky. Uh, and also, uh, like, I don't like to use stays on with um, photopolymer. I, if I can choose something else, absolutely I do. But if I have to, I will do it. But I really try not to. Well, I'm going to show you why with memento what happened to my memento so i recommend for this technique a hundred percent this stays on so i see scott say 15 last week he was the the thing with the the negatives uh, 71 so you see we just have to wait winter it's just a little bit and then it disappear you know now we're going to use granny apple green for the leaves and usually like the bar the the stem whatever i would use a brown but just because i want it to stick with one family, I don't think it's nothing in that. Um, now I'm going to go ahead and do the granny apple. So if you get a marker, like you would have crumb cake, gran uh, um, granite, uh, early espresso, it's almost too much, or the pebble bat, the uh, pebble, 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 what is that? Pebble pat, not bad pat. That would uh, be lovely. So um, whatever you can use, green you can use because it's more in. Sometimes it's a greenish though. So I'm just go and if you see, I'm not really coloring. I'm just adding a bit of color. I like to keep a bit of the the white. I just want to make sure I get part of all though. So now I'm using a little bit of green for my stem. Okay, so now see what happened? That is normal, okay? Absolutely, look when it's reverse. So now look at the back, it looked more like chunky. Well, all the lines stay at the top this way. So that's why I think it's good to stamp that way. 
Now, I didn't do that on my simple, but a wheel, I, yes and no. I tried to save one today. <laughs> I'm going to show you what happened in a bit. So I'm going to use the dragonfly. That's part of this set. And again, I will use um, the stays on. See, I open it up and it stayed there. And also, when you use stays on, you want to wash it right away, okay? I'm going to put that right here, coming down here. Again, your finger down. And I didn't stamp it here, but if it's lighter, it's okay. It is lighter, and I'm okay with that. Now, let me wash this. See, the sun is there because I flip it earlier. I know I wash on this side, but I flip my... Uh, my thing there. So now I'm going to do this. All clean. And you're going to say, well, you said you're drying it. Well, I want to miss using my stamping mist there and then pull it down and voila, all clean. Okay. If you don't <coughs> watch your stays on right away, it's going to stay sticky on your stamp set. It, And if it stand your stamp set, my friend, don't worry about that because it's it proved that you use it are you ready i'm gonna make you do like what the hee-haw she's doing you're gonna take your beautiful thing you just did Ta -da! that's what you want you're gonna say what in the er right well now, I'm using vanilla for the seal technique. I like the vanilla better. So, G um, uh, Julie, you said pr so pretty. What do you think now? <laughs> so, this one here that I'm using, it's three and three quarter by five. Three and three quarter by five. Now, I'm going to bring my uh, silicone mat. I didn't put that in the supplies, but we should have a silicone mat for that. You're going to open this up. So the side that you stamp on, <laughs> yeehaw, yes, going to go face up, okay? So the side that you color is going to go down. I personally love white for my paper, my crunching paper, my um, tissue paper, and vanilla for the background. Now, excuse me. In the past, I used to have glue, do, uh, glue not glue dots, um, um, glue sticks, okay? I try it with the Tombow. It worked wonderful. Some of you are going to be like, what the heck? I didn't know about that. So you get the fine tip there, the little tip. And the, yes, Verno, it hurt watching that, but watch when what's going to happen. You want the fat tip and it, you get kind of a, it's kind of uh, 45 degrees there. That's what you're going to spread your glue. And it's very important that you spread pretty much your entire sheet, okay? You don't want too much chunk. It may be here and there. You're going to have a chunk here and there, but really you want. Okay. Now I'm going to reach for, because we're going to flip that. Now you're going to take your paper here and spread it, but not all the way. You want it to keep crumb. Cr crunching or crumble or whatever okay that's very important that it stay crumbly because that's what's going to make the technique there okay now i bet here we go can you see this it looked like mulberry paper remember when we used to have mulberry paper or a silk I think you can see that. Now, make sure it's no glue on this. Flip it. Now, my best advice here, really, I like to have my seal here. I go all around. You can take Tombow. I, I like my seal all around here. 
But then the next step, I'm going to go back to my tombow. Okay, go all around. Don't trim that with your scissors because it wants to pop on the side or whatever. What you want to do is do four corners first, meaning that you're going to take your corner, bring it. Here we go. You're going to bring it down. Fold it like this. Do the next corner. So that is the same thing. I don't know if you guys ever do upholstery, like chair and recover chair or so on. That's how you want to do it when it comes to corners. Like this. And that's going to stop all the puckering and oozing on the side or whatever, okay? Et voila. Now, take this. Pull it tight like this. Now this, pull it tight. And then again, yes, what's new, it, what's old, it's new again. Absolutely. Because I did that before. Every technique so far that I did was from the past but you know what many of them didn't remember or they never saw it et voila now i'm going to play with the lights again see how cool that is but i'm going to be honest with you i like my flower to be lighter uh not so dark okay now and just because i think it's more silky and antique if <coughs> Excuse me. If you still have the, oh, what it's called, um, the lace ribbon, oh, it look amazing on that. I look and look, I thought I kept some, I didn't. But the lace ribbon that, remember, we used still not that long ago, it looked wonderful on that. Now, and we're going to go ahead and uh, basic black. I'm going to do this one on basic black. We're going to glue it on basic black here, okay? Basic black measure um, 378 by 5 and 1 8. 378 by 5 and 1 8. Now, this one, I'm going to have just there, but I want, um, I tried both ways, and I'm going to be honest, I went back to my tombow because I want to make sure this here stay very secure on the edge. So I'm going to go, you don't want, too much on the edge neither that it's going to ooze out. Okay, glue it's cheap, okay? So you don't want to send that in the mail and it come apart. So don't be uh, don't be skingy on the, the glue. If you have to cut the corner a bit, add one less layers, I'm going to say. And now we're going to come here. And we're going to smack that right here. You guys are very quiet tonight, or you're just very, um, see, I ooze a bit there. Okay, now turn it in the back. Okay, I'm going to have to turn off the light a bit, but it's better this way, I think, when, here we go. I can turn that one off. Okay, now, <clears throat> we're going to go ahead, and um, I got another thing that I didn't use for a while. It's my oval punch. We're going to go ahead and punch the oval here in basic black, and then oval bottom one there in um very vanilla now um we're going to use just a note or thank you one minute i'm going to use just a note because whoever win it can use it for any occasion just a note, I want to wish you a ber uh, happy birthday. Just a note, I want to, I was thinking about you. Just a note, I was, um, whatever, um, sending you uh, well wishes, get well. That can go with anything. 
So um, I just got my stays on here. So I'm gonna go ahead, use my stays on again, and we're gonna smack that right. You know what? Want well, my scrappy paper first because I want it dark. Now I'm gonna come back here and we're gonna smack that here and I'm gonna wash it quick. And you know what? I have to put that there. If I go right away here and really put some elbow grease, see, I got it. I didn't need. If you go very quick, a lot of time you don't need the stay zone cleaner, okay? It helped for many things, but there we go. Now, I'm going to go ahead, glue that there. So, okay, the technique tonight was the full silk or the full mulberry. But I'm going to share one more thing, another technique. Sometimes we don't have the color ink that we want. And this is going to go on um, Flirty Flamingo. Uh, see my paper wanted to fold up a bit. I'm just going to push it under. I was like, wait a minute. That's just when I push the pressure there. Yes, years ago, I think, uh, Wanda, it was in 2009, the first time I did this technique. See how old that is? So, and it's the same with the stained glass. One of the stained glass, another type of stained glass I did was my first video of all. Okay, now we're going to put that here. And I'm going to use dimensional for this. And the trick for this to look like this, you have to really crunch your paper. That's what makes the trick. Voila. Okay, for the inside, here's another technique. So it's stamped with marker. So let's say that you don't have the color marker that you're going, uh, I mean, the color ink that you want, or like a stamp set like this, that it's multiple, uh, you want to use multiple color. Well, it's not an ink pad for that. So I like to start with the lightest color and go to the darkest. So in this case, I'm going to go my yellow. Oops. I like to use the brush side when it comes to this. We're going to do the brush and a bit here. And then I don't need the thing. I'm just going to go to the top of it because it's just going to go uh, at the bottom corner there. Going to do the bud. And now we're going to do the, uh, you know what? I have to use this uh, pink here. Um, let's add a bit of the. And that's going to be about right. I won't go below this here. So white color all the rest. And then this. So it's very important you go to the um, light to the dark, okay? Now I'm going to use the green. And I do everything with the brush side of it, okay? All of it. here so you know it takes me a little bit of time to color a big image like that so when it's a big image like that the after you are done you have to huff and puff on it to moist the ink again because it dry pretty much okay so what i mean by that it is let me show you here let me bring this back in it is like this here you're going to take your stamp set and then smack it right here. Just want it on the corner there. Et voila. So now you got the different color tone. So that's another technique that um, you can do with your markers. So this way, if you don't have um if you don't have the color ink pad well if you get your marker absolutely you can use it um 
as a whatever a ink. Now we're going to glue that inside. And voila. Okay, do you want to see the other one I did? Okay, so this was Flirty Flamingo, okay? I personally like a very light pink when it comes to the dark wood. So um, this here was the light pink. That's bubble. I tried different color. You can see. This was the bubble. I like that one. I tried to add blushing bright, and I'm going to say that's what I use in the past, I think, or petal pink. If you guys remember petal pink, I think that was one. Uh, but I think there I try with blushing. So I prefer bubble. And that I added more than I would uh, normally do. And here I try with the fresh fuchsia. So now what's the fiasco here? What did I learn from this one? This is the first one that I try. And that is the one that I use memento in. If you look close, I got memento ink there. I got memento ink oozing there, there, all over here, here. Because uh, when I move my um, tissue paper to color, the memento were not staying good on that. So that's why I'm like, mm, I need stays on. Here I added some color and it was too bright for my uh, dragonfly. That's part of the same stamp set. I use it tonight, but no color. I use that for painter to remove some and that cover it. And this, I add, what stamp set that was? Um, contour? Uh, yes. I use the color contour for the dots to remove all that black mark that I had. So that saved my image, okay? So that's how I covered this one here. So... <clears throat> Now, here's, oh, and I had one more. Where did it go? Oh, right here. So here, here was the fresh freesia, was it? Yeah, I think so. Yeah. So, and the one that with the blends went in the trash, like I said, I just start coloring it and I said no, because the blend, well, let me show you what I mean by that. One second, so you guys can know. So when you color with blends, see, it's spread out a bit. So it's very hard to keep it there. And um, so if you use stays on, you have to color the back. But because it's very uh, light, it won't to ooze. Another thing I should point out, on the um, tissue paper, one side it's more waxy and one side it's more rough. I like to stamp on the, with the stays on, the side that it's more shiny and color on the side that it's more rough. So <clears throat> thanks, Ollie. So then um, that way, because the sign that, and it depends, all the tissue paper is going to be different. I don't have no brand. I'm pretty sure it came from the Wally World. Um, this one, it's almost kind of a wax. So when you color, that's something I should have mentioned at the beginning. When you color on that, uh, the wax would uh, not stick as good, So, but the stays on wood. See this? Don't worry about that. It come right off on the with, and that, and that was a uh, blend, and see it come right off. So this glass mat can be yours to join my team. You can have it for free. It is a very amazing tool to have in your craft room. Absolutely. So tonight, this technique here was with the marker, the writing marker. Um, I strongly recommend the, the marker just because, like I explained, uh, the blends won't spread. So that's a bit um, different. But that, that laid down don't say nothing to me, okay? Absolutely not. So you have to look at it, and you don't have to go like your head in it when you get that. It's very wrinkled, just like a silk or a mulberry paper. It is gorgeous, gorgeous. Okay, now, if you don't 
uh, crumble your paper. See it? This one you can see good, I think. So this one, I forget to crumple my paper. So it's just barely, so it, you don't have that look. So that's the big difference. So that is it. So next week, um, it's going to be another technique. I'm not sure. I know that I'm going to share back um, the one with um, the stained glass. Like I said, we can reverse the image and put that foil. Um, that's so gorgeous. So that's about it. Any question for me before I say through loo? Maybe if I miss question, I'm sorry. Okay, I don't see nothing quick. So again, so celebration, it's still the end of um, February, but while supplies last, so whichever comes first, okay? So till next time, happy stamping, everyone. Bye-bye for now.